this is a double-edged sword. It is like an accusation has been thrown around by citizens against your own. If you act the way Nupa has acted, people will say that, you know, why are you victimizing so and so? Because you see, Ugandans, like I've told you, we are not, <laughs> as a culture, this, these are things we don't know, that when you are accused of this, you resign. It's a new thing. Yes, a few days back, MP Namboze Bachileke, the MP for Mukono Municipality, came out and revealed that actually Martha Simpuga did a mistake of not allying with the, with the NUP party in a bid to solve the conundrum which is bet between him and the party. We all know that when the leader of opposition was changed, it is revealed that uh, he got 500 million shillings from the parliamentary commission barely a few months in office and the NUP came out to tell him to return back the money and ask for forgiveness which he refused and the NUP went on to suspend him as the deputy party leader when honorable numbers of Achileke was asked about this scenario of course I know he's a friend to Matthew Simpoga he held it like a grown-up woman but at the end, if you clearly understood the, uh, the message, he blamed Matthias Simpuga not to work with the party to solve the conundrum. So in this episode, I've come to talk about Honorable Nambose's comments on Matthias Simpuga's saga, what it means for politics, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So we all know that when Masya and Sipuga did a mistake, very many people came out to castigate him. But I want to look at this with a third eye. When the NUP party wanted to take a stand on Matthias Simpuga's 500 million, they invited the Subi group within the NUP party. And those people who were invited included Medad Rubega Segona, Mwanga Chivumbi, and Namboze. Remember, those people are not members of the NEC, but they were called as leaders, as one of the strongest MPs in the NUP. Because like it or not, those are the, one of the very good MPs in NUP. And in this meeting, it is said that Matthias Simpuga ag accepted the mistake and agreed that he was going to stand down as a parliamentary commissioner, to which he refused. Till now, he has refused to stand down as a parliamentary commissioner. But Namboze, when Namboze was asked about this, after this whole process, because this thing has been going on, at, I think for now, this is the, uh, the second or the third month, he came out and revealed that actually Matthias Simpuga made a mistake of not working with the party to solve his problems. In fact, before I speak on this, let me first give you the tape when Namboze was saying this. Here is the tape. This is a double-edged sword. It is like an accusation has been thrown around by citizens against your own. If you act the way Nupa has acted, people will say that, you know, why are you victimizing so and so? Because you see, Ugandans, like I've told you, we are not... As a culture, this, these are things we don't know, that when you are accused of this, you resign. It's a new thing. I find it really uh, disturbing uh, that we have not been able to use the meetings that have been taking place to resolve this. One, the meeting we went for that I attended, I was invited in that meeting as an elder. <laughs> Thank God I qualified it to be one. The second meeting was the meeting of the executive that I did not attend, but I know it was convened. And uh, uh, Mr. Mpuga, the Honorable Mpuga was not able to attend. The, the third meeting was the meeting of the parliamentary caucus, which he did not attend. So that is Betty numbers. First of all, I keep on saying people that the leadership of Honorable Chagrin Center is 
wise. Because the way they first handled the issue of Masha and Spuga is by inviting one of his friends, the Subi group, even though they were not NEC members. Because even after them being in the same meeting, where Matthias Simpuga agreed that it, it was a mistake, some of them have come out like Mwanga Chibumbi to, to, to at least protect Matthias Simpuga in a way. Just imagine if indeed they were not called, they would even come out gun blazing. So it was Solo, Solomonic judgment for Bobo to come out and engage the Sui group within the NUP to be among the meeting which sat at the headquarter to talk to Matthias Simpuga so that in the near future they, not, they cannot come out to say that they are not part of the meeting. That's why even amidst this controversy, none of them has come out to say that indeed Matthias Simpuga didn't accept that he did a mistake. None of them. They are speaking about other things. They are speaking on the way things are being handled. But they have not come out to say that indeed Matthias Simpuga did accept the mistake. So it was solomonic judgment. Okay? It's like when your friend is going to uh, for a trial and they first call you so that you can be part of the trial, so that the outcome, you can be part of the outcome. So by numbers are coming out to say that Matthias Simpuka did a mistake by not engaging the party. It's true because he was part part of the decision which was passed in, in the first meeting where Matthias Simpuka agreed that he took the 500 million shillings. And to me, I keep on, I keep on telling people that the elephant in a room is Matthias Simpuka does not want to accept that he did a mistake. And he's playing politics. And also NUP is hell-bent to fight corruption. And also to say that, look, Martin Spuga was corrupt. He engaged in the acts of corruption. Even when the Katikiro of Uganda, Charles Peter Maiga, came out to speak to the NUP when they had visited Ulange Mengo, he came out to say that actually a person who does a mistake is not supposed to be chased out of the party. In Katikiro's, Charles Peter's words, he came out to, to say indirectly that actually Martin Spuga did a mistake but he must not be expelled from the party, which the NUP has come out not to do, because the NUP has not come out to expel Matthias Impoga. By the way, you may think, I'm like, let me, let me first give you the tip of Charles Peter Maiga, when he was saying that actually, if someone makes a mistake, he must not be chased. They must sit him down so that they can solve these problems. Here's the tip. Mwino kuiga okugumi ikilizi gana. Uli muna agumi ikiliza mune. Mwino kuiga okusinga na mwe chitibwa. Mwino biga katinga muli 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 doruvu ganya. Kubanga bota biga ngatona nafuna buinza atoro buonobu funa. Onobu gambu wako. Hebuli aso vya tivata muti. Bwe mune ema nyizo kwevuma. Echina dako kwevu ambulago. Bwe chiri. <laughs> Umunegu wa mbulako nga tivivale mie. Anti agabuwa geru wanya luanya. Gabaga agala college. That is Charles Peter Maiga. And I also agree with, with Charles Peter Maiga. But that thi that can only happen if the person who has done a mistake accepts that indeed he did a mistake. But a person to behave like Matthew Spuga, to come out such chest thumping as if he's bigger than the party, that is the problem. That is the problem. In fact, the NUP has not expelled Matthew Spuga. It has just whipped him, they whipped him of the deputy president position, okay? Because of the failing to adhere to the advice of the party. Even the spokesperson, George Sanyoni, came out to reveal that indeed Matthias Spook was not just out of the party. He was just suspended from the position of deputy vice president of Uganda region. And for me, I keep on telling people that that was the best decision. Because first of all, if a person comes out and makes a mistake like Matthias Simpuga did, and he continue fighting politically without the party coming out to de-whip him, it sends a bad signal to other leaders in the party. By suspending Matthias Simpuga, it is a sign that no one is bigger than the party. Because Matthias Simpuga comes from the region, which has very many representations from the parliament. And it was a decision. 
a good decision for the party. They didn't expect ex expel him from the party, but they are trying to instill manners in him. In fact, here is the tape when the leader of opposition, Joel Sonny, was clarifying on this. Here is the tape. We are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are going to form a new team in the cafe, Obachi, and we are kwa gamba izenja ulu izenja ulu olusi ndi kakati galamira na mwisa akobu swanyu ni nasigaranga alimwana so nafenge chibina yes boy tutyo olusi tulani tuwaya muko olusi obuswanyu mujabula ba so that is jewel so so the beti nambo is coming out to say that Martha Spuga did a mistake she is indeed right Martha Spuga thought he's bigger than a party thought that he's the one who's supposed to lead even the letter he wrote he said that NUP sexually molest people. These issues are coming out after the NUP deweeping him, which brings a lot of questions. So, by Betty numbers are coming out to stand is to say that Matthew and Sipuka did a mistake. It is good, but it is also a sign that he was part of the meeting which advised Matthew and Sipuka to step down. And it was a very good decision for the NUP leadership to engage these comrades together even though they are not among the any the, the neck members to be part of the meeting of course that's my opinion read me your comments by commenting about this thank you very much for listening if this is your first time on this channel i employ you to subscribe like and comment so that i can be motivated to do more of such videos i'll see you on another one peace